Yeah, this is Dave from CheapBooks.com. I'm playing World of Tanks. The tank is the M24 Chaffee. And the map is uh, Serene Coast. I need a moment because um, I want to make sure I get in a good position, and I know I'm not going to be able to. I know this is going to be a huge disaster. Yeah, it's going to be a disaster. Okay, so I failed on this. I wanted to get to that bush over there. The problem is I'm working on a specific mission which requires spotting damage. And uh, I wanted to get to a spotting location, which I failed to do. Okay, so again, this is the M24 Chaffee. The map is uh, Serene Coast. My mission is to get 4,000 spotting damage. That's a lot of spotting damage. Um, so my current plan is to just run around the map spotting tanks. Even though I'm heading into their base, I'm going to avoid, uh, I'm not going to go on to the cap. Well, I guess in a second I am. There's a Lux over there. Okay, so he uh, went in the other direction. I am headed. <laughs> Hopefully no one will see me. <laughs> I'm headed over here. I was hoping to spot these guys from behind. It didn't really work. Ready to fire. Enemy is hit. Target released. Enemy armor is damaged. We didn't penetrate their armor. Okay, so, um... Gotta deal with this Lux over here. His gun definitely damaged me. I'm going to stay in the back area and hope that I can spot tanks. Wow, I thought we had a good lead and it looks like it's gone. Probably reloading. Enemy armor is hit. We're dead for everyone. Get out. Huh. Well, it isn't exactly what I wanted. Um, this is a difficult map to get spotting damage on because there's so many objects in the way. My first idea was to head to the west side and find a bush, but I have no idea if it's possible. Um, so I just drove around and I thought, well, if I drive around like crazy, I'm going to be spotting tanks and things like that. And and I wanted to get around to that island, but uh, the team had advanced far enough that it didn't make a difference. This tank, unfortunately, is too far away to really have any impact on the game. Come on, get him. Ooh, I think he... I don't know if he nailed him or not. But he's way too far away. He's out on that island over there. Oh my god, he doesn't see what's going on!
Yeah, I guess he didn't know that there was a tank behind him. Hmm. Well, we're going to cap. That's what's important. And they've got only two light tanks. So I think we're going to be fine in this game. Although you never know. Anything can happen. You'll note that he's not spinning his tank very quickly. He, he did a very poor job of... The Tiger One did a really bad job of going after that Lux. He should have nailed him. Uh, when you turn your gun, you want to turn your treads at the same time. And it turns the gun a lot faster. But luckily he did the job. And I got 10 gold. I did spot a lot of tanks, I just didn't get 4,000 spotting damage. Halfway for the team, not that great. Let's see how the gun is. 96-110. That's also 96-110. 17 rate of fire, 15, 143, 110, 38, 175. The second gun is, is a better gun. It's slightly better, perhaps not enough to justify the 4,000. Uh, I'm probably not going to get it just to get an extra split second on the gun. But if you keep the chaffy for a long time, you definitely want that second gun. Okay, so that's my M24 chaffy. A final note, you'll notice that my commander has three skills and the rest of the crew only has one. This is very important. The commander has many more skills. You can go through and look at them and you've probably noticed it on your own. The commander has lots of cool stuff that he could get. So what I do for all of my tanks is I make sure that my commander has the most number of skills, at least two skills more than everybody else. And for this tank, because it's a scout, I recommend six cents so you know when you're identified. Recon gives you an additional range, which is, I think, 2%. Camouflage hides you better, and then get camouflage for everybody else and situational awareness, which lets you see further for the radio operator, and then get a camo net, coated optics, and the binocular telescope. I use the uh, small repair kit, the large repair kit, and you either want to use the uh, large first aid kit to get the plus 15% protection to the crew, or you want to use the automatic fire extinguisher. So that's how I equip it, and you definitely want to get the exterior camouflage, especially if you're going to be playing it for a long time, which you may or may not. Uh, but this is a good scouting tank, so if that's uh, what you want, make sure you have it equipped properly. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below.